Good morning, Rocketeers. I am going to go back into our book, Stroganona, and work on a reading skill with you all today. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the book. I know that was a really long video, so I'll try to make today a little bit shorter. Um, but I love Stroganona, and I really want to go in depth with Stroganona a little bit and work on a skill, okay? So I'm gonna read the skill to you. I'm gonna read it twice and I want you to do the actions with me, okay? So if I'm moving, you're moving, okay? Um, great readers think about how characters impact each other's thoughts, feelings, and actions. So let's do that one more time. Great readers think about how characters impact each other's thoughts, feelings, and actions to understand the big idea or the central message of the text or the story. So we're thinking about how characters impact each other, how they impact each other's thoughts, their feelings, and their actions, and that's going to help us understand the big idea or the central message of the story we're reading. So when I think about character impact, there's a little bit of a cause and effect. Um, and the cause being, um, what does the character do or say to the other character? And the effect is, how does that make the character feel? What does that make the character think? What does that make the character do? Okay? And then I put it all together and I think when the character did this, it made the character feel this. So I'm going to... Uh, before I jump back into Stregonona, we're going to sing a little cause and effect song that I like to sing every year. And I want you to sing it with me. So, you all should know the tune of this story. It is the tune of the Adams fam family. Um, and I will sing the verse and then I want you to sing it with me. All right, got it? Good. You're going to sing with me? Great. All right, whenever something happens, there always is a reason. You must ask why it happened to understand the cause. Okay, now you know the tune, you're gonna sing it with me. Whenever something happens, there always is a reason. You must ask why it happened to understand the cause. Cause and effect, cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect. The cause makes something happen. It really gets things snapping. Just ask yourself what happened to understand the effect. Let's do that one more time, okay? The cause makes something happen. It really gets things snapping. Just ask yourself what happened to understand the effect. Cause and effect. Cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect, cause and effect. Great job. Okay, let's go to our story and I'm gonna explain um, how we can use cause and effect to um, understand character impact and then how character impact helps us learn about the story's central message. So let's go down to where in the story, here we go. All right, um, so we read this story yesterday, and again, if you haven't watched that video where I read you the story, you need to go back and do that before you watch this video, okay? Um, so I'm going to think about the cause so what does one character do or say to another character? So on this page, for example, what do the townspeople do or say to Big Anthony? So I find the cause by thinking about what the town people do or say to Big Anthony. In the text, all the town people laugh at Big Anthony when he tells them about the magic pasta pot because they don't believe in him. They say, you better go confess to the priest, Big Anthony, such a lie. I know that the townspeople don't believe Big Anthony because they've never seen Streganonda's magic pot like he did. Next, I find the effect. And I find the effect by thinking about what the townspeople's words 
make Big Anthony think, feel, and do, okay? So I'm thinking about what do the townspeople's words, how do they make Big Anthony feel? What do they make him think? And then what do they make him do, right? Um, so I know in the story, Big Anthony feels a little angry by the townspeople because no one felt, believed his story. They, never, they didn't feel like he was being truthful, even though he was being truthful. Because of the townspeople teasing him, Big Anthony thinks, someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook. Remember, he goes, and then they'll be sorry. Um, and he wanted to do that to prove that he was right. This is why when Streganona leaves, Big Anthony decides to take her pasta pot and make it cook. That's what he does because of the townspeople's words. So I'm putting the cause and effect together to describe how the townspeople affected Big Anthony. The townspeople had an impact on Big Anthony. Um, when the townspeople laughed at Big Anthony, they said they didn't believe him and it made him feel angry. So he planned on finding the way to find the pasta pot to prove he was telling the truth. So there's the cause and the effect. And now I put these together and I think about what can I learn from this story? I had a few responses on the Google form. A lot of them were around um, following the rules, right? If, if um, someone tells you not to use something or to do something, you shouldn't do it, right? And, and that's a really good lesson that you can learn from this text. That is true, right? If Big Anthony followed the directions, then he wouldn't um, have gotten himself in this mess. I'm gonna scroll down because I think this picture is just so funny. At the end here, right? If he had listened to Streganona, he wouldn't have been in this mess. But thinking about cause and effect, what got him into this mess? Like what got him here to the end of the story was his need to, to prove the townspeople wrong. He wanted to show off. He wanted to be right. Okay, and so I think that we as readers can learn that it's not important to show off. It's not important to really care about what other people think because he knew that he was right, but he got so angry and those characters impacted him so much that it ended up getting him in trouble. So I, I was thinking more of um, all readers can learn that showing off for others may cause you to be the fool in the end or it may cause you to have the bigger problem in the end. So it's really not worth it to think about what other people think about you and what you're saying if, it's, if you know you're being true and if you know you're right, um, because then he wouldn't have gotten himself in this uh, problem in the first place. So it's really important, I think, as we go into, especially when you guys come back to school and we're step testing, that you think about how characters impact other characters. What do the characters do or say that might cause another character to to do something and to feel a certain way. Um, that's, it's a really important skill. And as we're reading books, I really want you to think about, you know, why is character impact important? And what can we learn from characters and stories? And I think that's gonna come up a lot in the next two books that we read, which are really exciting. And I'm super excited to record the videos for those later on today, okay guys? Um, please keep reading at home. If you um, need any book suggestions, comment below. I will be posting some really great read-alouds in the next few days. Um, signing off for today, but please comment. Let me know, did you like uh, the story? Um, did you not like the story? Kind of like the story, not like the story. Um, and if you need any help with this skill, let me know. I'm going to stop for today. Bye, Rocketeers.